All right, guys, so I'm here, I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, mirror joint tool in Maya. You see, I have a simple spine set up, and I have my leg set up here with my IK. I have a rotate plane in this case. If you do, when you, I wanna remind you of a few things. When you're building your bones in Maya, and for some reason they do get elephantitis and they get bigger than the others, you can also go to the radius and scale them down here a little bit if you want to. Um, and just wanted to mention that real quick. So we have our a little uh, guy here. I'll move him up a little bit. And uh, we want to be able to not have to create this all over again. Now remember, you do need to name stuff. But once we use the mirror tool here and it puts the leg on the other side, you want to make sure that you have um, you know, a new set of uh, prefixes on this guy. And you can actually do that under Modify Prefix Hierarchy Names. So you can actually go in here and change them. For all the bones selected, you can change the hierarchy name. So if I do use the mirror joint tool and the right side is active, but it still has like LGT in front of it, you can change it to RGT if you want to in front of all those legs once they're selected. Just want to make sure I point that out. All right, so let's grab that joint right here at the hip. And I'm going to go to a skeleton and I'm going to go to the mirror joint tool right here. By default, it's Y, it's XY. You want to set it to in this case, YZ, because if you built your leg from the side like I did, it's going to need to be YZ. <clears throat> if you do it from the front, it'll need another access rotation point, but just keep that in mind. It's all dependent on where you built your rig. So, wow, well, he has the longest spine in the world. Never noticed it, poor fella. They call him Stretch in high school. All right, so we're gonna grab this here, and then now, I'm gonna go in here and hit apply. And you'll see it flipping the other side. Now this is new to, I believe 2012 and 2013. The IK will actually go to the other leg, which is kind of nice. And sometimes it'll do it with your feet, but you gotta be careful and you have to double check it. And again, you do need to change your prefixes if you're going to keep those IKs in there and those bones in there. Just be aware of that, all right? But let me uh, point out some other things in here too. There's behavior and orientation. Now, what behavior is, if we go in here and rotate this guy, you'll notice right now they are mirroring behavior. So they actually act the same, which is nice. So it basically made a negative version of the bones on the other side. Now, you would do orientation if your animation calls for your character to, like, you know, maybe he's skiing and it's all, I don't know where, I can't really think of a good situation because if he's skiing, you still want it to be IK. But say you wanted two limbs to move and mirror the same type of rotation. This is what you would do for orientation. This does behavior, all right? Um, and you have duplicate joints. You can replace it ahead of time here. You can search for and replace with. A lot of times I'll just go straight to modify if I want to do it. So I wanted to talk a little quick about these settings. That's about it. This is the, the shortest video ever. Now, I do want to point out again, it will not duplicate your groups, will not. So later on, we'll talk about automated systems. That'll be good for you VGPs and those uh, animation and GAD people that want to go that route. Um, but you'll have to rebuild it all over again. So if you do use the mirror joint tool, no, your groups will not magically show up here. Um, so you'll have to do some editing, double check everything, and do it yourself. All right. That's about it on that one. I can't think of anything else to say. All right. Guys, have a good night.